Talk him too much away. Tell us a little bit about where he left off the character and where you think he's heading. Yeah. And, uh, how you approached it, you know, especially post pandemic. Uh, yeah. Um, Etc. What, what can we expect? Um, you know, last time we saw Caleb, he was walking into a firestorm. You know, the, the war was just really beginning. Um, and that's really the final frames of uh, of Caleb from last season. And then here, you know, first time you see him, you quickly realize it's seven years post the war ending. It seems as if, as if the humans have won. They shut off the machines. Um, Caleb is suffering from some serious PTSD from what had happened over the past seven years. Uh, and so, yeah, you, you find him a little weary, you know, he, he feels that people are sort of looming in the distance, in the shadows, and uh, yeah, he's, he's a little nervous about it, um, and so he, he feels that the war is very much not not over, and um, yeah, but he's ready to, ready to keep fighting. If you could create a theme park for yourself, what kind of theme park do you think it would be? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I love slides, you know. Shoots and Ladders Park? Yeah, of slides. Uh, it'd be fun to do like a, a West Westworld theme park, but not really abuse the robots, but just kind of hang out, hang out, and have a glass, you know. Yeah. If they announced tomorrow that hosts were a real thing, how do you think you would react? I, I, makes sense. Yeah. I honestly, doing the show has truly made me question my own reality. It really has. Like just being so deep in it, and it just feels like. All of these things revealing themselves in our real world, it just feels that these creators even behind the show has their finger on the pulse, you know? Um, yeah. Are we in a simulation? I don't know. Hard to say. Hard to say. Thank you. All right. Thank you.